Alrighty, uh, in this video we're just following uh, Luke's thread on his uh, mostly magnet motor uh, thread he's got going over at overunity.com and um, what I'm trying to do is compare a standard motor with his setup as far as pull force goes. Now the way he's doing it and the way this is set up the pull force could be seen as torque of the motor. So um, what I've done here is I've got a little plastic wheel on the motor. This screw that I've put into the plastic wheel is set so it is at the outside diameter of the rotor in the motor. So it's basically a one-to-one -one pull. So we'll be looking at the torque of the rotor. Um, what we can get out of it for how much power. Now Luke was able to obtain a torque of 500 grams pull force using only 0.432 watts and um, that is quite a bit however torque does not equate to horsepower horsepower is the amount of weight that can be lifted over a certain amount of time uh, using the old method of course now we use watts and, uh, when you get an electric motor that's 700 watts some will calculate that wattage as power the motor consumes and others will calculate it as output power so one thing to be careful of there we have our scale set on kilograms here our multimeter set at a 10 amp scale so we can measure our current and we're only set at 1 volt on the power supply and our scale has just gone off so as you can see at the moment it's at zero. Lighting's not so good in this shed. So we're going to, um, we're basically testing the torque of the rotor uh, exactly as Luke has tested his a one to one pull force of the rotor. And once again I have that screw set um, out on this plastic disc at the same diameter as the rotor is on the motor. So we'll go and uh, switch on our power we have our 1 volt and we have 130 grams of pull force from the rotor so that is our torque so our torque force is 130 grams the lighting's terrible in this shed and we are using 1.2 amps so that means we are using 1.2 watts of power to achieve 130 grams of pull or 130 grams of torque from that motor um, now Luke is getting 500 grams half a kilo of torque at 432 milliwatts so I'm using twice as much power more than twice as much and getting only what one just under or just over or just under one quarter just over one quarter of what he can achieve with his setup. So, um, as far as a standard motor goes compared to his, uh, he has a lot more torque for a lot less power, and we're talking shite loads. So, uh, all he's got to be able to achieve now with that setup is a uh, rotational speed that we can achieve with this and um, be able to lift a certain weight over a certain amount of time to get his horsepower rating. Uh, okay, so um, this one I will post. The last one i done a solenoid test, just a standard solenoid with a uh, permanent magnet in the guts of it. And um, it wasn't even worth writing about. It was worse than this setup here as far as power consumption and pull force went. So, um, 
yeah that's it Luke your setup's looking pretty good at the moment mate so um, maybe time to build one have a little closer look at that cheers guys